Hello, welcome to our channel. Uh, this video is about installing Lenovo Wi-Fi and Bluetooth kit. Um, it's very likely that it come from our eBay account. Uh, thank you very much for checking this out. So uh, this video is about how to install them in your Lenovo PCs. This particular kit I got in my hand is specifically for particular models. Uh, now one good thing about Lenovo is that they reuse their internal parts generation after generation, years after years, which means this kit will be compatible with so many different models. Now if you look on the screen, I've listed the ones that I've actually tested this with. So follow this list. Uh, I haven't checked each individual uh, machine that can take it. Uh, I don't think I did so there are there could be models that this particular kit will fit into but I haven't listed them so if your machine is not on the list it might still be able to take this so one way to find out is actually opening the machine itself so with all Lenovo machines particularly the micro ones uh, the way you open it is there is a screw at the back this one so you just unscrew it with one of those Phillips screwdrivers so when you open it this top portion of the PC should just slide right off so the way you do it you push it slightly forward with your thumb and that's it so whether or not this particular kit is going to fit it, um, you will have to look first of all. You see there is a little slot there. So if there is a slot like this and there are two holes, then it is more than likely it will fit. Let me show you. The particular slot, by the way, is for internal antennas. So there you go slots right in so in some pieces this particular area might look slightly different I'll give you an example okay. so this particular one it looks slightly different because there is a little uh, fence areas like that but as you can see as long as you have that area and your M.2 slot is right there this kit you can use it so there could be some models that I haven't listed but they still have this area and the M.2 card slot is right there if that's the case you can actually use it all right now onto the installation part when you've taken this top cover off you should see the SSD caddy so what you do is press it and that will come right off be very careful there's a little strip right there you don't want to break it so if you pull this should snap right off so your SSD is disconnected now you can see the M.2 slot is right there okay so we're gonna do the internal antenna first this one some of these might look slightly different but same shape so you put it there now this might not stay securely so what I would suggest is yep just like I said uh, just use a little bit of tape at the top just to make sure it sits there securely okay so that's the internal antenna secured I'm not going to put tape on but you got the idea put a tape on just to make sure it sits there securely now in the next part what we're going to do is we're going to install the external antenna now the external antenna itself this is called a semi cable so this one would go at the back of the machine you should have 
a hole like that this hole for some machines might be covered with a uh, metal piece but you will still see a little hole inside put a flathead screw through it then apply a bit of force and then that plastic sorry the metal cover will snap right off once it's snapped off make sure you take the uh, metal uh, bit out because it can cause short circuit inside so once you've snapped it off you can just take this plastic off unscrew that little nut there and feed it through put that little washer thing in between then screw that really tightly make sure that's really tight once it's tightened up you just put this plastic cover on and that's it so you can just screw the external and turn on all right done okay so now we've done internal antenna and the external antenna and we're left with this two cable okay so what we would do is connect these antenna cables to this Intel based Wi-Fi um, Wi-Fi card, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so what I tend to do is in here there is no markings usually it says main and an auxiliary or OUX now if there is no marking that black one is main and then the white one is auxiliary so what I tend to do is connect the external antenna to the main And I connect the internal antenna to the aux, the auxiliary. So the difference between main, main and the aux is that the main antenna is the antenna the system will be using by default. If the connection is all good, it will just get the get everything from the main one. But if there is any interruption or if it feels like it's not getting the connection, it will search through the auxiliary one. So essentially most of the time it will be running through the mains so since the external one is I think it is better so I start with putting the main into external antenna if that doesn't give you good signal then maybe switch them just a bit to see if it improves in some instances it might actually improve so once you've connected this uh, just put this plastic cover on the top okay so once it's done properly this cutouts should align as you can see sorry okay so now you're ready to put it in Now, put that card right through. Now we will see this is properly aligned, which means we're ready to screw, screw it onto. So. Got the little screw right there.
Okay, make sure it's tightly put. So as I said earlier on, even though ideally you should, I didn't do the sticking part or using the sticky tape, but you should because otherwise it will keep popping off. So that's it, that's about it. So when you turn the machine on, it should automatically connect. In case it doesn't connect, you can go online and then you can search 8265 NGW and then you should get the drivers. Mm. If you think that's not, that's a bit difficult for you, what you can do is you can go in the link in the description and then that will take you to Intel's website. Install that particular software and then run a scan and then you will find the drivers for you. And then you just go ahead and install the driver and that should sort the problem. Even if it works, I highly recommend updating the drivers anyway to get better connection. Now, hoping that you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, you can message us on eBay or you can leave a comment down below. Messaging on eBay should have a faster response. And also, always take precautions like what I did right now, even though I'm used to doing this time and time again, so maybe it's good for me. But when you do it, make sure if you have a bracelet, uh, anti-static bracelet use that if you don't then make sure you discharge yourself of static electricity by touching these metal parts so this way static electricity do not kill these components inside that's one and number two do not do not have this plugged in if you had it plugged in make sure you unplug it and hold this power button for 10 seconds just to make sure all the powers are drained all right thank you very much